Greetings fellow followers of the Lamb. Today's video is on the last countdown remaining for the Cult of the Lamb. We are now less than one day away from the game's release, so without further ado, let's get into it. Without the devotion generated by your followers, you will perish on your crusade. Other than the coin used for merchants, as a cult leader, you must also take payments in the form of devotion. This currency is used to upgrade your cult in ways that money cannot. A good leader leads, a good follower follows. Although rather short, we can see something new in the form of a follower with a pack entering the gate to be teleported out of the village. This seems to be a way to send the follower outside to collect resources. Your canon doctrines will grow as your cult does, and you can shape the tenets of your faith as you progress. This countdown reveals that we can assign the tenets and traits of your cult as it grows. There are multiple categories to assign traits in with different paths you can take. Here we can see in the afterlife category that they took the belief in the afterlife trait, which reduces the faith penalty for follower death from negative 20 to negative 5. This could be advantageous for leaders with a heavy hand of guidance that may cause more harm than normal. A funeral ritual can be performed to gain 20 faith from a recently passed follower. The respect your elders trait, which increases faith by 5 for every elder in your cult, giving them something to do other than eating your food and complaining about teenagers. Grieve the Fallen lets you build grave sites where followers can mourn their loved ones and gain two faith per prayer. The Work and Worship chapter is a bit more interesting. The Industrious trait increases work speed by 15%, however the Inspire command replaces Bless but significantly increases the loyalty of the follower. Ritual of Enlightenment will temporarily increase devotion generation speed by 20% for three days. Holy Day Ritual declares the day a holiday where your followers will take the day off and gain 80 faith. At the end of the book, we can see the Possession chapter, which has the ability to extort tithes from followers, speeding up collection two once a day. Next, a trait that will be assigned to each follower that gives the materialistic trait, a ritual for giving coins to followers in return for their loyalty while also gaining 10 faith, and the last trait we can see is the Devotee trait, which increases faith when delivering a sermon. Right before it ends, we can see the Law and Order chapter, with a ritual to ascend a follower to a higher plane of existence, making all followers gain loyalty. Bring different kinds of followers into the fold. You will be surprised at how variability strengthens unity rather than weakening it. One of the most important aspects of running a cult is its growth. You may be required to take in those who will break before they bend. The key to leading is compromise and providing for them so that they may best serve you. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Cult of the Lamb content, we will be streaming it tomorrow when it launches. Bravo will be streaming it immediately after its release around 12 p.m. EDT, and I, the disembodied voice of the channel. We'll be streaming it that evening. Our links are in the description down below, so be sure to drop by and say hello. As always, thank you for watching, and have an excellent day.